What up boys and welcome back to yet another video. So in today's video we have another season of discovery gold guide and we're looking at a farm that's extremely extremely good. However though it is actually for alliance only. I know we've done some horde only farms and we've also been through some alliance only farm but that's the, the way it is in classic WoW. You can't do everything with every classes but this farm alliance only extremely good farm and a farm that not a lot of people are aware of so before we dive into the specifics big thank you to all of you guys that has picked up uh, a copy of the complete gold guide for season of discovery and support has been absolutely massive and i'm so glad that you guys are enjoying the guide now the thing about this guide is that whenever phase two or phase three and so on of season of discovery comes out i'm going to continue to update the gold guide for those phases and everyone that already has the guide will get all of those versions sent for free to their email. So if that sounds interesting, make sure to check it out with the link down below in the description. So the item that we're going to be farming is uh, called the Finger Bone Bracers. Now, it doesn't matter which bis list you look up for, for caster tunes. They're all going to have the Mind Trust Bracers and the Finger Bone Bracers on their list. Now, the Mind Trust Bracers being the best ones but they are like a, a world drop in uh will a zone drop in shadow fang keep so way tougher to farm uh rather than something like the finger bone bracers which is the next best abyss item for every single cloth caster really good bracers they drop from the forsaken dark stalkers uh like here in ashen vale and uh, if we look at the uh, the map on the Wowhead, you can see it, they spawn in this area right here. Uh, but I do want to note that the uh, they are like shared spawn with the other Forsaken mobs. So like right down here, you have this camp where these mobs are going to go like in and out of stealth constantly. But right now, there's only assassin mobs up uh, and there was like an intruder mob right here. But if you kill those, they will respawn and they had a chance of respawning like as the uh, forest uh, forsaken dark stalkers, which you need in order to get the uh, the actual bracers. Now, also worth mentioning that if you go up this uh, kind of ramp thingy towards this house, there's going to be some uh, druids and also more forsaken mobs. So inside this building, it's one of those caves. You go into it, you go down a spiral, and you're going to be inside a cave. That cave also has a lot of the mobs you need, uh, like the Forsaken mobs that can drop the Bracers. But the mobs are level 29, 30 though. So, I mean, I was just in there and you saw me at the beginning of the video running out again. It is tricky if you're going to solo because all of a sudden they start spawning behind you and you're going to get absolutely clapped. Uh, but the... Uh, the value of these bracers are insanely high. I'm not going to mention a, like a specific amount of gold because it all depends on what time you watch this video, what realm you play on, what region you're in, and so on. But as you guys can probably imagine, every single item on the pre-biz uh, pre list is quite expensive. So that was pretty much it for today's video. So if you guys like the video and you want to see more videos like this one, just make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel because that way... You'll be notified whenever the next video gets uploaded. And you can always feel free to check out the uh, complete gold guide for Season of Discovery. But that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you all back in at tomorrow's video. Bye bye.